Hey, what's going on everyone? What's up? Jeff exclamation point here. And if you haven't figured it out, I'm at Universal Studios today. All right, I don't do a Universal vlog that often, so get ready, this one's gonna be epic. So here we go into Universal Studios, Florida. All the Halloween stuff is set up. But first, we gotta get some tickets. Uh, looks like we're heading into Gru's house. We're gonna do a Despicable Me Minion Mayhem. And take a look at this. This is what the outdoor line looks like. It's kind of no thrills, no frills. But it gets the job done. Well, we tried for the minions, but that didn't quite work out. It looks like the ride was having some problems, so we hopped out of line. And now we're just kind of walking around. Here's where we're going next, the Born Stuntacular. I believe he should be allowed to continue to uncover more of the truth, and to do so without being terminated with extreme prejudice. All right, so we just got all the Jason Bourne stuntacular. And Dawn, what did you think? She hasn't oh seen it yet. my gosh, it's amazing! Amazing, so good. It's a really good it. show. I've seen it a lot. It's uh, definitely up there as one of the best theme park shows around in Orlando. It looks like we're hopping on the E.T. ride next. Yay! I love this ride. ride was awesome but in true theme park fashion we are going to exit through the gift shop <laughs> and look at all the cute little E.T. E. plushies and the little E.T. figurines and all the Reese's pieces you can buy and the cute little E.T. photo ops that you can do it's an E.T. of a good time So it looks like we are entering the leaky cauldron and we're going to get some food. So the food has arrived. Let me show you what I got. And here's what I got. This is the specialty chicken sandwich. This is like the wimpy food for the Wizarding World. I'll show you in a second the best thing, but it's just a grilled chicken. They got some bacon, some cheese, some uh, potato wedges. But what Dawn got, if you guys ever come here, this is what you get. That is uh, fried fish, chips. This stuff's amazing. 
I was just craving a chicken sandwich. Back in the Wizarding World, well, we uh, actually never left. Lunch was a success. It was good and much needed. But now, take a look at this view. Oh, it's so wizardry. So magical. All right, so we made our way out of the Wizarding World, out of Diagon Alley. Next, we're headed to King's Cross. Uh, that's like a little train that takes you over from, from Universal Studios to Islands of Adventure. So here's where we're going, right into King's Cross. To this lovely barricaded line. So here we go, we're walking up. They're going to uh, scan our tickets and make a little magic billboard. Ah, it's so Harry Potter. And it brings us to where the line is. And right here, this is where I'm gonna be for like the next hour. So we made it in the Hogwarts Express, and I'm sure Dawn is, are you tearing up yet? No, I teared up when we walked in and it was still sitting there. <laughs> into Hogsmeade Village and gang this place is just amazing look at that it's beautiful and even right behind me I got the conductor right there yay we made it we finally made it to Hogsmeade this is awesome here is what we are just about to do this is probably the most popular ride here at Universal. Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure! Well, we just got off the uh, Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. We got on it, and as soon as we got on it, it started raining. So it became a water ride, which was actually really fun to ride this with the, uh, the rain. It was uh, Dawn's first time to actually ride the motorcycle. All the dogs. What did you think? It's How so was the motorcycle? Amazing. As the first time on the motorcycle, it was incredible. <laughs> so good. I love that ride. It's my favorite. It's a lot of fun. So we made it into the Jurassic Park section. And this is going to be fun for me because my friend Dawn has never, ever seen Velocicoaster. She's just been freaking out over the walls. And we're about to come over here so she could actually see what the coaster looks like. This is going to be a lot of fun. We don't have enough time today to actually ride the Velocicoaster, uh, but I was very, very happy that Dawn was able to see it because last time she was here, uh, this was not even a hole in the ground. It was just something completely different. And look at Velocicoaster there. It's just so pretty. So very damp, Jeff exclamation point here. Uh, we made it out of the Jurassic Park section. We're in the Toon section now. So this would be the uh, Toon Lagoon area. Look at him up there. If that's what he sounds like. I don't know. So we kind of just walked through the rest of the park. Uh, didn't go on any rides. Wait times are just a little too long for the time that we have to be in the park. Maybe some shopping? We'll see what happens. But I think we're actually walking out of Islands of Adventure right now. As we are exiting, we are reminded that the adventure lives on. Oh, really? 
in the gift shops because you know that's what we're gonna do we we shop shop a lot to the exit that was a really fun walk around universal studios as well as islands of adventure we're back in city walk now and i think we're just gonna hit up they uh they have well it's no longer new but for me it's the new gift shop at city walk we're gonna go check that out and i'm sure purchases will be made well it happens every now and then but due to time we are not going shopping we're actually gonna head out of here but we have more adventures to show you because we got big plans tonight in fact some of you are going to be like really you're going back there jeff oh yes we are <laughs> but that's down. <laughs> coming in the next vlog but until then with dawn by my side it was fun seeing you guys here at universal thanks for watching like subscribe all that good stuff see you next time <laughs>